Today we are finally going to be stealth camping at 7-Eleven in Woodbridge, Ontario, Canada and eat gas station food for the next 24 hours. Mmm! Look how many blueberries are in there. We'll start off with a few breakfast items, then grab a hot lunch and an afternoon snack, and then a special guest is dropping by for dinner. We'll set up the stealth camper and get some well-needed shut-eye. In the morning, we'll have breakfast and head home. If this van life adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. There it is, our next stealth camping spot for the next 24 hours, 7-Eleven. I've been wanting to do this for so long, now it's time. Well guys, we're starting this video off Thursday, December 29th at quarter after 10. Uh, first things first, we're gonna have to get a coffee and I brought my own waters, but we'll probably be trying different drinks and things like that. But uh, let's go in there, definitely get a coffee, see if they have any breakfast items uh, I don't normally eat here at 7-Eleven. Uh, the one in Bradford's gone now, um, but uh, it's been a while since I've been here, about two years. So uh, let's go in there, see what they got. Cool, Amazon pickup spot. Order at Amazon pickup here. Neat. Got all the lunch stuff up. I got some breakfasty type items here. Mmm, Jamaican patties, freshy. Pizza sub. I think I did that one once. We got our slushy drinks, noodle bowls. We'll let them do one of those. Oh, yeah, let's do the spicy one later. We got frozen stuff you can bring home. Oh, coffee bar, peppermint mocha. I want a regular coffee. We got large dark roast exclusive blend. I definitely got to try one of these. Austin Cream. Hello, how are you, sir? All right, how you doing? Good, good. How is it going? Excellent. Just let you know those the donuts you make me here if you want to try those one, okay? Which one? The Those are very good. This is brand new. Oh, this okay. It's a lemon cranberry scone. It's got a cranberry and a lemon taste. All right. It's very nice. Try it. Fantastic. I will. Thank you. So we're going to do what the man said. We're going to do the lemon cranberry. These are brand new. Two twenty nine, And then uh, I want to do a blueberry muffin. And that'll be our breakfast. All right, that's all we're gonna do for breakfast. Hello. Ooh. You wanna try our free sample of cookies? Sure. What is that? Just chocolate? It looks like marshmallow? No, no double no. chocolate uh, and the macadamia nuts inside. Oh, macadamia nuts. Okay, I'll take this one. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Woohoo! We are back in the car. Ladies and gentlemen, lots of stuff I got to carry in here this time. And that bill came to, our breakfast is coming to uh, 1039. Again, that's way more food than I would normally eat. Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? We are having a little bit of a mild spell right here, just north of Toronto. And uh, the sun is shining, there's no clouds in the sky, maybe some wispy stuff over there. But uh, blue skies, it is right now five degrees Celsius. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be enjoying this. I'll be able to not freeze to death tonight, probably. Uh, and we'll also have a special guest coming by later on tonight, uh, maybe this afternoon, late late afternoon possibly. And uh, yeah, he found out I was going to be around close to his work. Let's do this double chocolate macadamia nut thing. Mmm, that is really good. Wow. 
and crispy all on the edge. Nice, like a sugary crispiness. All right, guys, going in for the extreme close-up of our breakfast here at 7-Eleven. It looks like there's a lot more food than I remembered for lunch. We're going to be uh, definitely eating a lot of food. Uh, so there is our coffee. Nice and steaming hot. You can see the steam. Look at the steam. Still crazy hot. And here is our beautiful looking blueberry muffin. You can see the chunks of blueberry in there and uh, that sugar on top. And then over here we have our, I guess it's like a scone and uh, it's got cranberries in it. And of course over here is our breakfast dessert. <laughs> Honey bun. Yes, darling. I'm going to rip it apart. See what it looks like inside before I bite it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at this huge chunks of cranberry. It looked fresh too as I pulled that apart. Very nice. I love cranberry. Cheers. Mmm. Blueberry muffin. Now that to me is a dessert right there. Let me just bite into that lid. Muffin top. Mmm. Look how many blueberries are in there. Way to go, 7 Eleven. I think there's another one down the street, maybe like five, six kilometers over that way. So it's interesting that they have two really close together here. And then they took the one away in Bradford, which sucked. But anyway. That is a great muffin. The scone was fantastic. That's sweeter. This is not as sweet. Hey, 7-Eleven, your coffee's pretty good. Uh, I didn't do the dark roast. I'm not a dark roast kind of guy. And this was the exclusive blend, I think they called it. And it's pretty good. I'd buy that again. All right, let's move into this jumbo honey bun. Yes, darling. Okay, these things are fantastic. Another one of my favorite items like this was when I worked in a warehouse and uh, what do they call it? The catering truck, we call it the roach truck. And uh, it's funny, they always, everybody made fun of the, uh, the catering trucks, but everybody went to them and uh, got all the worst foods they could possibly eat. And one of my favorite things was it's two cream filled donuts in a wrapper like this with a little um, cardboard tray on the bottom. And I would eat all the donut around the cream. And at the end, I just have like the top part of the donut with the chocolate on it, the bottom part of the, of the, uh, the yeast donut. And then it was all the cream inside. Oh, that was good. Good times. <laughs> Not anymore. Well, I'm having this. <laughs> That's not so good for you. But damn, does it taste good. Mmm. Mmm. It is fun to eat food that you used to eat all the time once in a while when you're older. This brings back fun memories of eating food like this. If you're in your 50s or higher, let me know in the comments below if you agree that once a year, maybe on your birthday, you gotta try some of those old foods that you loved as a kid. I'm going to uh, download this footage onto my laptop just to make sure that our audio is working. And uh, yeah, I got uh, my 500 Jackery and my 1000 Pro, and that will keep us uh, powered up for the next 24 hours. And I don't think I'll have to worry about being cold tonight, but I did bring my buddy heater. So there's, there's my buddy heater, but like I said, I'm not going to be, I don't think I'm going to need it at, at all. <laughs> Phone, computer. This is the best spot right here. <laughs> Just sit. 
got some some more headroom than these things in my way so that's my gopro with the media mod around it take out the screw this is the mount i like the most it's got a little screw mount in the bottom so i can mount it to little tripods and stuff and you pull this little tab and then the GoPro slides out. And here's the media mod. And there's an audio connector right inside there. That goes right into the side of the GoPro. You got to take the door off. Take the card out. And we will check it. And make sure everything's working. I need it to work every time. There we go. I can hear audio. Well, guys, we're... There you go. Nice saved computer is all working getting things organized phones charging now it's time to sit back and relax oh and i've got my uh batteries charging for the gopro and uh, making sure that's on their grandma was flying in to see their family so her grandchildren thought well it's up to about seven degrees uh it's gotten cloudy it's gotten a little bit more windy uh again it's seven degrees outside and it's 17.9 degrees inside here so uh I'm, i picked a really good day so i'm not freezing to death in my car so but it is now uh 12:35, and that means it is time to go grab some food for lunch some ice cream later. I think we should do a slush. Cream soda light, black cherry, slurpee. Yes, I can get you in. I'm thinking. Yeah. I think. Get two for six, and the tapitos are four for nine. Yeah, I'll do one of each. You said four for nine. Four for nine, yeah. Okay, I'll do. Uh, hmm. So it? the most popular one is a mandre and a beef taco. Ah. Okay, we'll do uh, two. Two, and two? two and two. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Thank you. And no hot dog for you? Uh, I think I will do a hot dog. Okay. Which what? So with the hot dog, you get the deal. You get the drinks for 99 cents if you want to get it. Hot dog, okay. one hot dog and I did that. We will give you that one. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I guess the cheddar smoke. Just the cheddar smoke, okay. Sir. Please. Yeah, no and all the toppings are here. Okay, you Fantastic, like. thank, thank you very much, sir. What would you put on your hot dog at 7-Eleven? Definitely sauerkraut. Sauerkraut is so good for you. And mustard. Mustard. Oh, it's upside down. Cool. Perfect. We'll try that too. Please. Yeah. So these are gonna be 99 cents, okay? Okay. So that'd be $17.08 or something. Pizza? Yeah. Thank you, thank you, yep. Excellent, thank you very much. Your napkins? Uh, please, that'd be great. Sure, not a problem. There you go, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Oh, fantastic, thank you, sir. All set up, let's go for a close-up. There is our awesome lunch here at 7-Eleven. Let us know in the comments below which gulp you would choose. I went with that blue. And over here, we've got the gingerbread cookie dough bites, creamy milk chocolate. And uh, here is our hot dog. And uh, of course, I went with sauerkraut and mustard. And uh, over here, we've got our taquitos. So this whole lunch here came to $17.08 after our Ontario taxes here in Canada. I don't know what I want to do first. Uh, I don't know which, I think, this this possibly is the taco one. Yep. <laughs> mm. Has those uh, chili flavors, Mexican chili flavors. 
in that beef. These things are awesome. Like them a lot. This has got to be my Monterey Jack. Mmm. Mm-hmm. They are both good. I'm just trying to think which one I prefer. I think I like them both. Mmm. This one's a little bit not as crunchy. This one's a little bit more crunchy. Maybe it was there a little bit longer than this one. Woo! Let's try this one. This one, that one looked like it just got squished a little bit. But this one definitely looks crunchy on the outside as well. Yeah. I like that. This Monterey Jack is just nice and creamy. Mm-hmm. Look in there. Yep. I like that a lot. Okay, let's stop. <laughs> Brain freeze. Hope we don't get one. This drink slowly. It's just got that really cool, sweet berry flavor. Hot dog! Oh, so you can scratch it. You can sniff it. The rest is mine. I don't know what hot dog, actual hot dog I got. Mmm. Nope. There's cheese inside that hot dog. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, I did the cheddar. He just typed in regular beef, but this is like a cheddar, cheddar dog. Mmm. Big, thick, juicy, wiener. Ooh la la. Mm-hmm. That is fantastic. I love that. The creaminess of the cheese inside the hot dog. Woo! Very nice. Seriously, man. Look how gooey that cheese is right there. And it's like leaking out. Let me break it. Oh, what's this? Are we getting a cheese pull? Oh, no, we're just getting a goo pill, a pull. Okay, so little chunks of chicken, Monterey Jack in there. Oh, it's still steamy. Oh, yeah. That is a fantastic taquito. Let's move on over to these things. So for 20 pieces, it's 130 calories. Oh, it look like uh, Glossette raisins. Yeah, wait for these to go on sale. Because that is definitely, <laughs> I wouldn't buy that for four, 450. But I'm glad they're on sale. I didn't know that until I bought them. I just wanted to get them to try them because I love cookie dough. And we're definitely going to do that cookie dough ice cream for di uh, dinner tonight. Dessert. dessert. Like I said, they look like little glossette raisins. Inside, you have your cookie dough. Mmm. So it's just... <laughs> It's crunchy because of all the sugar. It's got that sugar crunch to it. It tastes more like candy than it does cookie dough. I can't wait to try that uh, Ben and Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough. There is a warning on there. Brain freeze may occur. And as long as you maybe sip it nice and slow, just take little bits into your mouth then you won't get brain freeze. Once again, let us know what is your favorite Slurpee at 7-Eleven. This is mine. It's now 2.17 and I really want to try that spicy ramen bowl. Spicy ramen time. All right, how you doing? 
Mr. Noodles Bowl Spicy Chicken. Okay, on this side here, it says uh, open lid halfway, empty flavor packets, and add boiling water to inside fill line, close lid, and let stand for three minutes. So I'm guessing this is like boiling water. It says caution hot. Thank you. See you later. Yeah. Said three minutes. It's probably been about four or five actually since I bought it or made it. Let's tear the roof off the sucker. Gotta mix that flavor in. Get that spicy packet to be mixed everywhere. I probably would have mixed it better if I was doing this at home. Didn't have my spoon at the time. The noodles look like they're almost done. Maybe another minute or two. Plus it looks crazy hot. Look good? Look good? How many people love Mr. Noodles? I love it. It's good stuff. So, although it's not freezing out, it's still cool. I've had to turn my car on a couple times just to let it run and get the heat back up a little bit. Um, but it's still doable. Let's see, it's the steam is coming off there a lot. Mm. Yeah, that was boiling water. Sure was. It also had microwavable instructions on it. Woo! A little spicy there. I prefer this way boil the water, dump it in, and wait. That's pretty good. It has a nice broth to it. I know it's not like homemade ramen or anything, but our favorite ramen shops downtown Toronto. And there's one in, in Vancouver that we've been to. And the one in Japan that I went to with my buddy Paul uh, right downtown Tokyo. Oh, that was amazing. This is okay. <laughs> if you're going to compare, this is okay. But if you're really cold in a minivan, this is great. Look at that. Ooh, noodle pull. Ooh la la. Sorry about the mouth noises and stuff, people. This mic picks up everything, and uh, I'm hoping when I get the uh, the Osmo Action 3, it won't uh, get every little mouth noise. Guess we can only hope. Mmm. Mm. Fogging up the glasses every time I get close. This stuff is fantastic, man. You can just drink it. I'm gonna polish the rest of this off and then we'll go in the back and relax for a couple hours. And now it's 14.9 uh, degrees Celsius. And uh, again, it's just, just nice enough in here. I don't need to uh, have my heater going. about 20 after 4 and it's starting to get dark so I'm going to set up the stealth windows for later I'm going to be able to use my lights in here All stealthed out, uh, 
just waiting for a uh, text back from my surprise guest and uh, see if he wants to share a pizza or something. 4.30 and uh, all the lights just came on. Almost empty, might as well fill up. It's uh, $1.42.3 Canadian per liter. Good, they got tap. One moment, please. Perfect. All right, people, let's park it. Gotta clean up. And there is our special guest, once again, Paul Merriman, coming over. We're gonna split a pizza. <laughs> How you doing, man? He was out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. What is going on? How was how was the tickle toad? Good. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you got all your stuff done. I tried. You tried. <laughs> you just gave up and left. I gave up and I I called it a day. And I brought your friend. Who's that? Bucky. Bucky. <laughs> oh, Bucky. Oh, Bucky. <laughs> so we'll go in there and grab a pizza. We'll come back here, eat, and have a chat. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. Throw it. We'll have to figure out what pizza we want. Oh, okay. Hello. If we want a whole pizza, do we? Which ones do you guys have? Cheese, pepperoni, and this is the new one, buffalo chicken. This one do a buffalo yeah, chicken. We'll do, buffalo chicken. we'll do like a whole buffalo chicken. Okay. Please. Do you want a drink or? Yeah. 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 I like Coke with my with my pizza. You don't like pop, so big enough. You got lots of stuff. Like, can, can you imagine? Look at this, stalking this thing all the time. Oh, Paul wants to go naked? Naked? Yeah. Naked. Naked? Like, what? What do you like to drink with your pizza? The only pop I like? What? Brio. Oh, yeah, Brio. Pizza? Like, I don't know what they, it is. It's, it's, you, oh, you usually only find it at yeah, pizza it joints. Pokemon cards? Yeah, you can play Pokemon oh, right here. Bathroom. That's our pizza, I think. Thank you. Hi there. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Two. Mmm, 7-Eleven pizza. Ready to eat? I am. Oh, yummy. Are you handing this to me to carry? Yeah. I gotta open the door. All right. So, I don't think Paul's ever, ever eaten a pizza from 7-Eleven, so this will be your first time. That would be very true. <laughs> That'd be very true. I'm going to turn those on, too. I didn't even that know they help. sold pizza. I'm going to turn this on, too. There we go. Okay. Usually when I go to a gas station, I don't even like to go in. I just card at the pump, and I yeah. can't remember the last time I was in a gas station. Well, Bucky's. <laughs> oh, Bucky! <laughs> All that right. would have been the last one. Can I open it? Yes, sir. Mm. Uh oh and it was the buffalo chicken or something, right? Yeah, and the girl behind the counter said she likes this. This is good without dipping sauce. Yeah, she said she, you don't need it. And, and, yeah, the, she, and, and the sauces they had weren't... Yeah, would, it was... I, yeah, I wouldn't It was never, more like wings and, and stuff yeah. like that. And So maybe some of the people like the wing sauce with their pizza, but it's got to be like a garlic, creamy garlic sauce, or mm -hmm. that's pretty much it. Hmm. I yeah, with smell buffalo, that's what I said. When she, I said, oh, you have ranch, because that would be good on buffalo. Yeah, that would be good, too, for sure. Um, or blue cheese, maybe. But Blue cheese uh, would be good. Right now, all, I'm right now I'm smelling a lot of onion. <laughs> That's pretty much what I'm getting off that. Aren't you smelling the onion? Yep. Ooh, it's strong. Okay, let's eat. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mm. oh thank you. I'm ready. You just want to reach in and grab a. Yeah, I guess I'll just steal a piece out of here, and then you can just eat over the trough. I guess. Are you gonna do the fold? Um, always depends or on the, the pizza, right? If it's a certain type of, see, this doesn't need to be, I guess it could doesn't be need the fold. It just makes it easier. It when does. You're in the car. A little bit. That, you it's just that it's, mine's going to be delicious. Triangle. Looks drippy. Cheers. Cheers.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did she say what the dough was? Remember there was, did mm. we ask? It looked like that regular dough. Because they had a selection, remember? Mm -hmm. oh. But I bet certain pizzas only come with a certain crust. I'm not sure if you can like, it looked like you can pick and choose stuff, but I don't think, because they don't actually make them here. Mm -hmm. They're either, they're, they're pre-made, some are frozen that you can take home. And then some are like, like in the fridge, ready to be cooked. And then they just pop it into that little convection convection oven and away it goes. The uh, buffalo chicken is actually quite nice. I'm just not like... It could have been hotter though. Mmm. Yeah. Like it's... It's... I'd say it's warm, but it's not... Yeah, when you talk about buffalo chicken, you kind of almost... Not necessarily burn your mouth off like back in the day when when they started off with the whole buffalo wings. Get that mild flavor going on there, but definitely some a little bite. There's hardly a little any Frank's bite. Frank's hot sauce drizzled on there. Yeah, that maybe. That would, that'd help. The onions are great. The chicken's awesome. The uh, crust, look at that. It's all nice and perfectly cooked. Nice and golden brown. And it's nicely, nicely even spaced. Yeah, it is nicely spaced. Mm. But looking okay. back at our video that we did in um, Lake Placid, yeah, it was it was all off to one side. It was almost yeah, like was... he was short, and he's making this big pizza, and he couldn't reach the other side. Yeah, just, he's like, that's what it seemed like. That's when he reached over and went, Duh. "Yeah, oh, that's all right, that's mm. done." Or he. After it was cooked and they jostled it, I, I doubt it. I just think that he just no, it was rushed like was, or something. Yeah. Still tasted great. So first impressions. Pretty good. I mean, for uh, pizza, obviously prepared, frozen, thrown in, it's decent. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the fly, you're heading somewhere. It's not bad pizza. Like, mm -hmm. well, the first time I had one of these pizzas, I was just like, I was actually quite impressed. I said, if I lived near a 7-Eleven, I would probably buy my pizza there every once in a while when I was craving a pizza. Yeah, because when I think about gas gas station, right. other than Bucky's, because it was like mm. it was like uh, walking into a Walmart. Yeah, and everything. It's not what you'd expect. No. It's not garbage pizza, but you know, it's not that freshly made gourmet stone oven pizza. It's good. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, I'd like it with a hot sauce. Dab some hot sauce on there. Yeah, that would be good. Even some crushed chili peppers, give it a bit of heat. Yeah. It definitely has that um, buffalo sauce flavor to it, or buffalo chicken wing flavor to it. Oh, the gas price is changing. Nope. Three it's free. cents. It's free. Hurry up. <laughs> it was three cents for a second. Hurry up. Let's get over there. Fill up. It's funny. I just gassed mm -hmm. up at 42, I think. And then it just dropped. As the night goes on, I'm not sure if you guys ever noticed this before. It changes. It, it keeps going down until around, I don't know, 12 or somewhere in the middle of the night. Then it bumps back up first thing in the morning. They look out the window to see how busy it is. There's a lot of cars on the road. They put as high as possible. Mm. When there's no cars, they drop it to almost free because they're trying to get people, <laughs> <newer> people in. <laughs> and, our, and our government definitely does add a lot of tax to oh. the gas. Well, they sure do. Yeah. Booze, gas, and cigarettes. There's just a it's ridiculous insane. amount of tax on them. Last two pieces going down. I didn't think we were going to eat the whole thing, actually. I didn't think so either. Yeah. Grab your piece, or I'll grab this side and you grab the other side. And, do a, and we'll do a pull. Oh, oh. oh I got the extra chicken. Huh? Bonus. Mm -hmm. Where'd it go? Mm. Still oh. glistening. Mm. The weather outside is frightful. <laughs> it's a nice mild day, eh? Get rid of some of that ice. <laughs> oh, it's all going to be gone. Mm -hmm. I think I checked the it was nine degrees. And tomorrow I think it's a high of 12. Hmm. It's going to be all gone. Just like this piece of pizza, all gone. All right, Paul, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the pizza. No problem, man. I'm full now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a safe drive. Yes. And uh, maybe in the near future, we'll do a 24 hours of the Tickle Toad. Yes. That would be fun.
Hopefully it's not snowing and cold. Uh, that would be better, That'd actually. Be better? Yeah. Big blizzard? Yes, definitely. Like Buffalo just got? Yeah, right. Oh, they've been hammered twice. Again now, now eh? I know, it's crazy. I feel bad for them. All right. Not well, good. have a good night, sir. You too. See ya. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao, dude. Peace. All right, it is now uh, 9.39. Time to go and grab our late night snack uh, and enjoy some ice cream. There's the snack shelf. And we are gonna do, oh, the Tonight Dough. <laughs> ben and Jerry's, $5.99, or is it $7.99? We'll find out. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's good to be back. Minus three, please. Good night. Night. Bye. Time to check out Ben and Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh boy, I haven't had this in a while. I definitely haven't had Ben and Jerry's in a very long time. Oh yeah. I let it melt a little bit. So it wasn't too solid. Oh, big chunks of chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Mm. Bam, Jerry, nice job. Very nice. Mm. Creamy, rich, lots of cookie dough. It's a great snack. If you have not had chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, it is a go out and get it now. Drop what you're doing. Pause the video. Grab a tub of Ben and Jerry's. And you'll enjoy it as much as me. I'm 56 years old. I've always eaten cookie dough my whole life. I'll never stop. And the fact that somebody along the line said, hey, let's put those cookie dough chunks in some awesome ice cream and sell it to people like me. Brilliant. I could probably eat that whole thing. And I think I just might. Well, I'm going to polish off as much of this as I can. And then we're going to batten down the hatches and then hit the hay. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We'll see you in the morning. I'm not sure what we're going to do for breakfast tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. Good night. good sleep this was a very very busy location um, being a 24 hour being on the main road to a main highway uh, that road was busy all night this was a pretty good 24 hour location to sleep at um, or a stealth camp to sleep at I should have gone I was thinking of going to Orangeville and that probably would have been way more peaceful but I didn't I know about this 7-eleven and how much food they have here and that's kind of why I chose the this lo location over any other location uh anyway so let's get up and uh unstealth this vehicle oh okay, yeah it's 12.8 degrees celsius in the van seven degrees celsius outside the van so it was a perfect night for a stealth camp uh another another quick thing somebody said uh because about a year ago when i was doing a lot of the cold very cold winter camping uh, stealth camps um, somebody said oh because I complained about my nose being cold and they said oh you should uh, get a balaclava and I'm like that would be okay but uh, you know 
then your eyes are exposed. So just having, I don't sleep with my glasses on, but so pulling my black hat over my nose not only keeps my nose warm, but it keeps the light out of my eyes. So that is uh, definitely a bonus. And I'm gonna wear my, that hat's great for sleeping, but I'm gonna wear my maple leaf hat, of course, for the day. Should have brought an extra hoodie though. Ow, again, bunking the head. Morning. All right, how are you doing? Let's see if there are any breakfasty type items. Didn't notice yesterday. Like they do have like bacon and eggs and stuff. But again, and just regular sandwiches. Oh, there's an egg sandwich. Yeah, this is the one right here. This is mine. Just got a new kid, right? It's kind of hard. Hope it's uh, not stale. Another large coffee. <laughs> I think that's done. It's not stopping. <laughs> okay, dude. Jeez. Oh, yeah, it's uh, softened right up. Good job. Yeah, it's hot. Whoa, that was only 15 seconds. They have fudge brownies, cream cheese Danish, strawberry cream Danish apple. Let's try that strawberry cream. Oh, thanks, sir. Hey. Like, yeah. I'm gonna nuke this thing too. Just a little bit, 10, 15 seconds. Nailed it. That's breakfast. Thank you. Have a great day. Well, there you go. This is going to be our last meal of the day, being that it is 9.26. Here is our last meal at 7-Eleven, and uh, that is our coffee. And over here is our Danish and uh, look at that. It is gooey and ooey. And again, when I first grabbed it, it was very hard on the top, but now because it's been nuked, uh, it's nice and soft now. And we've got the cheese, sausage. I don't know, I prefer sausage in these sandwiches over bacon. Let us know in the comments below what you prefer. Let's eat. Okay, first stop. Let's get a piece of the sandwich into the belly. Belly of the beast. Hmm. Not bad. <clears throat> it definitely has a bit of a, a day old taste to it. Other than that, it's doing the trick. Which is stopping me from being hungry. This, that, and that. Definitely do the job, for sure. I'm glad I nuked that. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> That's good. I'd rather have two of those than one of those. It's, and definitely when you nuke it, it's like it's fresh again. Nuking it made it even fresher and pliable and warm. On this cool morning. Wow. That is yummy. Can't wait to get home. Upload all this footage for you guys. Start editing. Then I get to play with my new DJI Osmo Action 3. And uh, we'll see how much better it is than the GoPro. I 
All right, guys, it's December 30th. Just after 10, we've been at 7-Eleven for 24 hours, eating and drinking lots of different things at 7-Eleven, having a half decent sleep. And uh, yeah, it was a good location to stealth camp at. I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my video, leaving that comment, hitting that thumbs up. I'd also like to thank all my channel members for all your monthly support and my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. If you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist I put down over there. We'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.